As a cyclist, you know that tire pressure can make or break your ride. Anyone who's faced the frustration of a flat tire miles from home might relate that a regular bike pump isn't always convenient. Traditional pumps are often bulky, hard to carry, and take up precious space. That's where mini bike pumps come to the rescue. They are lightweight, portable, reliable, and perfect for on-the-spot tire inflation within minutes. So let's take a look at the 15 coolest mini bike pumps you can get right away and make your ride uninterrupted. Do you need a mini pump that should last through all the weather and adventures you can throw at it for years to come? You might want to check out the Silka Tatico Bike Pumps. This is a 9.5 inch or 24 centimeter thick cylinder of aluminum in its closed form. Work to inflate a tire internally protected. So you don't have to worry about bad weather or wild terrain. Silka claims that there's an internal air gap that will protect the exterior from heating up. In terms of performance, you'll need 150 pumps to inflate a 40mm tire to get 50 PSI. Silka also claims it will handle 100 PSY, and if anyone had reason to do that, it would be possible. If you want things to be simple, go get it. Then again, the Lezine Digital Pressure Drive ranks among the higher-end mini pumps in Lezine's bike pump lineup. Compact yet efficient, it comes with a digital gauge that allows for tire pressure adjustments with one PSI precision. Its flexible hose fits both Schrader and Presta valves, which makes it versatile for use across different bikes without requiring multiple pumps. The hose is integrated into the body of the pump and protected by dust caps at both ends. After 150 strokes, you can inflate a 28mm tire to 60 PS1, while 250 strokes will bring a 45mm gravel tire to 35 PSY, which is perfectly rideable. The pump feels strong and reliable, and works effectively with both high pressure and larger volume tires. Worth taking a shot. So we've got another one from Lizen the Micro Floor Drive Pump. Due to its circular base, just over one inch in diameter, the Micro Floor Drive has virtually no freestanding stability to speak of. The whole pump is extremely lightweight, only about half a pound, which is great for portability, but not terribly helpful for stability's sake. We like this design a lot, except for one major flaw with the miniaturized version. The air bleed button has been placed right on the side of the chuck. In the middle of the area, one grips to attach and detach it from their valve. It becomes much more difficult to go through this motion without bumping the bleed button repeatedly and losing little bursts of air. Although it has some issues as a travel pump, it still provides some value to check this out. Our next pick is the SKS Airflex Mini Pump, a short and pocketable at just 20 centimeters long. At its far end, a plastic cap conceals the 11 centimeter long pull-out connector hose. This has a screw-on Presta-only valve connector with a knurled section, which makes it easy to use. The Airflex Racer is an easy pump to set up, as you just need to pull the hose out of the body to screw it onto the valve, making a secure connection. It doesn't shift as much air as some, and 150 strokes inflated a 28mm road tire to just 33 PSI. The Airflex Racer does the job with reasonable efficiency, although reaching higher pressures requires a lot of strokes. But it's comfortable to use, so if ease of use is your priority, you can definitely go for it. Moving on, we want to talk about the Airstep Foot Pump. Unlike the typical narrow, metal-footed car pumps, designed for Schrader valves that many garages have, the Airstep features a broad, strong plastic base with rubber feet to prevent sliding during operation. Its aluminum step is spring-loaded and includes a 60mm pressure gauge for precise readings. The step can be locked or unlocked using a large sliding switch, which allows it to return to its starting position. The head unclips from the cover, and the slim spiral hose is lifted from the storage well that wraps around the gauge. At 1.41 kg, the air step includes an L-shaped wall bracket to free up floor space. This unique pump will save your back from repetitive bending and its smooth action does reduce the effort required to inflate tires. So, if short length mini bike pumps win your heart, you'd probably find the Air Profile FC0 one reasonably efficient and inexpensive. It is designed to flip easily from Presta to Schrader valved tires. Despite its short length and stroke, it's effective, although it's not weatherproof. The squared off head includes a connector with a slider that swaps it from Presta to Schrader valves, and there's a pull-out plastic locking lever to secure it on the valve. 
The connector isn't protected from dirt or water ingress when the pump is not in use, which could be an issue if you want to use the included bottle cage mount. If you need to inflate both Presta and Schrader valves, the sliding connector should prove useful. The pump's small size and weight mean that it sits nicely in a jersey pocket, while earning a spot in your heart too. We all know that BBB makes a range of bike parts and accessories that usually offer good value. The wind gun mini pump is one of them. Although it's not as efficient as some other pumps and the pressure gauge is inaccurate at lower pressures, it still delivers what's required. The BBB wind gun is quite a large pump at 25 centimeters long, although its stroke is significantly shorter at 14 centimeters. The valve head, which has separate connectors for Prester and Schrader valves under a rubber protector, is incorporated into the pump. You need to push the pump itself onto the valve and there's a metal locking lever to seal it in place. The pump's handle locks firmly to the pump body when not in use but pivots at 90 degrees to the shaft when you use it. The BBB wind gun incorporates an analog pressure gauge that reads up to 120 PS wine, although BBB suggests that the maximum pressure it can achieve is 100 PSI. It's not among the best ones, but it gets the job done. Okay, so do you need a well-priced pump that is far cheaper than a lot of other leading designs? Topeak Race Rocket is the one you might be looking after. It's shorter than the standard race rocket, which makes it even more packable, but it's still capable of generating pressures over 100 PSY. With enough perseverance, 100 PSI can be achieved on a consistent basis. The downside to the small size is that achieving a pressure of 100 PS2 is going to take a lot of pumping. Considering the overall performance and quality, it is very well priced against competing products from the likes of Lazine. Also included is a frame mount if you don't want to store the Topeak Race Rocket HP in a jersey pocket. Following the Race Rocket, Topeak has another mini pump that provides quality and does it at a reasonable price. We're talking about the Rodi TT. It's a 19.5 centimeter black or silver metal cylinder without a lot of detail that needs attention called to it. The body and head are all metal, but there are some plastic pieces that handle the sealing of the outer body to the inner shaft. The head has a locking lever, which is once again fully metal and carries a simple white Topeak logo. It's a Presta valve only affair, so if you were thinking of using it for something off our list of the best commuter bikes, you'll want to double check the tires. If you are checking the buyer's guide, 100 pumps of the Rodi TT get you to 31 PSI. It's not the best number, but it's not that bad either. So let's talk about the smallest mini bike pump on our list the CYC Plus Cube. It's a pretty simple bit of kit. There's a battery inside running a pump and a button on the outside to turn it on. The pump runs a bit hot, especially at higher pressures, so you also get a silicone cover, which will also help to protect it. CYC Plus doesn't make any claims for it being waterproof, but with the silicone cover on, it should be fine so long as you don't drop it in a puddle. The CYC Plus pump is both Presta and Schrader compatible. It involves switching around components. Using the Cube Mini Pump couldn't be simpler, really. Put pump on valve, double click button, stop pump when tire is hard a minute or so later. It's just a press fit, but you're not having to muscle the air into the tire, so it's easy to keep a nice tight seal. Overall, we think the CYC Plus Cube is a great addition to your ride tool kit. Let's move forward. Having a mini pump means you want something that is going to fit in a rear jersey pocket without the risk of losing it. At just 185 millimeters in length, the Pro Bike Tool offering does exactly that. It doesn't weigh much either. At 100 grams, or if you want to attach it to your bike, 113 grams including the mount. To attach the pump to the valve, you'll find a flexible hose hidden inside the handle. You unscrew it, and select which valve head you need. Then screw the opposing end to the bottom of the pump. The end you need to use then screws over the valve for a secure fit. The hose is 150 millimeters in length, which gives you a little bit of room to move around and means you don't need to be so close to the wheel when pumping begins. Quality is pretty good too. It is simple and easy to use. That said, if affordability is what you need, the Vibrelli Mini Pump is another one to consider. The mini pump secures to either a Presta or Schrader valve. By pressing the integrated pump head onto the valve and flipping the locking lever into the up position. Once attached to the valve, the user can select either pressure or volume using the quarter turn locking ring on the bottom of the pump chamber. 
When used in volume mode, the piston length doubles in size, as compared to compression mode. Pumping in pressure mode is difficult due to the incredibly short stroke length, with a rapid increase in difficulty as pressure increases. In terms of performance, the Vibrelli has a pressure and volume mode for inflating different types of tires. But the performance is decent, it is affordable, but it lacks pumping performance and durability. Nothing inflates a tire faster than compressed air, which is why the Blackburn Mammoth CO2 FR is such an appealing mini pump. This pump brings together a carbon dioxide inflator and mini pump into one low profile package. Thanks to its instantaneous carbon dioxide inflation capability, it can bring a tire up to pressure faster than any hand pump. Despite its thicker diameter piston, the Mammoth CO2 Apafur has a rather short stroke, which limits its pumping performance capability. On a 27.5 by 2.3 inch tire, it takes the Blackburn 300 pumps to reach 22 PSI. But when using 116 gram threaded carbon dioxide canister, the Blackburn brought a tire up to 21 PSI in almost an instant. The while not the most powerful pump in terms of volume, the carbon dioxide capability can get a tire up to pressure almost instantly, which gives the Blackburn a unique position in the mini pump segment. Now let's talk about the Bursman E-Grip Inflator, a small and generally likable design that allows progressive and efficient post-puncture inflation. The threaded system is not only reliable, it's proven compatible with unbranded generic cartridges. Aside from having readily available spares, this means you can plug in big cylinders for rapid resurrection of touring and gravel tires. The head is a press fit design, which some will argue is less secure than the threaded type, but it overcomes two major difficulties, the risk of unthreading a removable valve core and the pain of having to touch and uncouple the inflator head. The Bursman's design is pretty foolproof on the unintentional discharge front too, provided you don't screw the cartridge fully home. In some respects, the Bursman's performance is on par with other systems, but the detailing means it's a notch or so nicer to use than some otherwise adequate budget models. Overall, it's a great one to choose. We're going to conclude our list with an impressive one, the Seaplus Portable Bicycle Pump. The little compressor inside this is fairly loud but strong, you set the target pressure anywhere from 3 to 150 PSI, press the button, and just let it get on with it. Testing this on a 28mm road tire will take almost exactly 60 seconds to reach 60 PSI, but then another 45 to 50 seconds to add another 30 PSI. From flat to 90 PSI in under 2 minutes is very good, and performance doesn't seem to suffer if you do a second wheel straight afterwards. In fact, the second tire in this test reaches 90 PSI 5 seconds quicker, in 1 minute 50 seconds. The lack of weatherproofing makes the supplied mount feel a bit pointless, but assuming you're not really after a clever on-bike solution, this is great. For home or car-based convenience, it impresses with its large battery capacity, easy use, decent quality, and accessible price. It's great, isn't it? So that's all for today. We've done the hard job for you. Now pick the right mini pump, put it in your jersey pocket, and you're all set for your ride. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.